All right, guys, here is our foam rolling and stretching routine that uh, our guys would use pre-workout here in the edge. So we're gonna start off with our quads. Andrew's gonna lie face down, weight on the two elbows, starting the front of the thigh, working from the top of the hip down to the front of the leg, keeping the both hips pointing straight down, nice and controlled down, slowly down, all the time, and slowly back up, really easy. What we do here is that if Andrew feels any uh, areas of tension or any tightness, we pause, we hold, we pull the heel into the bone, we extend the leg back out, we repeat that a couple of times, and then we go back to flushing all the way up and down that entire quad. We go from the front of the quad to the IT band, one side of the leg goes from the hip to the knee. This is probably gonna be the, the most tender area for most people. So we start off with option number one, which is to foot flatten the floor here. So it takes a little bit of weight off, weight on the elbow, slowly working down. IT band team, seeing your trousers running from the hip down to the knee. Nice and controlled all the way down, control it all the way back up, keeping the hips forward. Option number two, we stack the legs, double stack the legs, adds a little bit more tension, obviously a little bit more weight, but the same rules apply. We're always in control, it's a slow motion, up and down. Perfect, we go from the IT band then, we're gonna roll over onto our glutes. He's gonna, Andrew's gonna sit in the foam roller, he's gonna pop his left ankle up on his right knee, he's gonna slightly shift his body weight onto his left glute, and then he's just gonna massage his glute with the foam roller, trying to find any areas that might be a little bit sticky or a little bit sore or tender. Once he finds anywhere that's a little bit sore or tender, just hold it and then go back to flushing up and down. Perfect. He's then, last thing we're gonna foam roll is our mid to upper back. Foam roller goes underneath the shoulder blades, starts with hands behind the head, supporting the neck. He lifts his hips up and then he's gonna use his legs just to push him in up and down ever so slightly. Work, just working the, the lower shoulder blade up to the top of the shoulder blade, up to the lower part of the neck. To increase that stretch around the rhomboids or into the mid back, we're gonna bring our elbows together, breathing nice and controlled, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Try not fight it, try to be as relaxed as you can when you're doing these things. Perfect, and relax. So there are foam roll. When we foam roll, we look to do, we look to foam roll each of those, obviously doing both sides of the body, one to two minutes each side. Each um, flush, if you like, from top to bottom should take 15, 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds. And you look at to do one to two minutes each side or each muscle group. We move on to our stretching. Feet hip distance apart, we take a step out with the right leg. We're gonna do a, a hip flexor stretch. Andrew's hips, it's important to keep them straight ahead. So you'll notice if he comes here, it's a groin stretch. If we come here, it becomes more of a hip flexor stretch, more into the front of the hip. That's where we want to feel it. Gently going down, bending both knees, breathe in and exhale. What I'm gonna get Andrew to do is I'm gonna get him to squeeze that left glute for eight seconds. He squeezes, holds, that will increase the stretch in the front of the groin. Then he breathes out, relaxes, goes a little bit deeper, squeeze the glute again, hold, relax, go again. And then once we've got that, he's gone to his end range of motion. Last thing we're gonna do is extend the hand up over the head, tiny lean away from that side, and we just breathe in, nice and relaxed, exhale slowly, hold, and really be careful coming out of this gently, hands on the hand and the hip, gently pushing himself back, and we ease out of it. We're gonna go from that hip flexor stretch, we're gonna to go to our couch stretch or our quad stretch, again, courtesy of, of Kelly Starrett. So foot, that left foot goes up on the bench, left knee underneath the hip. Again, hips are pointing forward, they're square on, He's just thinking about pushing the left glute towards his left heel. So he's gonna, Andrew's gonna get a big stretch through that front quad. Again, we breathe in, into the nose, exhale, nice and easy. Try not to fight it, you wanna go as far as you can, hold that, when it eases off, then go a little bit further. Try not to force the stretch itself. Perfect, we ease out of there. We're gonna lie down onto the floor here. Last thing we're gonna stretch is our glutes. Andrew's gonna put his left ankle on his left knee. He's gonna reach through the, the window or the gap in his legs. He's gonna grab, option number one is to grab the hamstring here, and we just hold. Option number two is to grab the front of the shin. So depending on flexibility, will mean whether you're option number one or option number two. We hold it, just increase the stretch, and you should feel it in the outside or into the middle of the left glute. And relax. So when we're stretching pre-workout, we're stretching anywhere from 45 seconds to 90 seconds depending on that workout, depending on what muscles are tight and depending on how the positions are for in our squat or whatever we're gonna do that day. 
So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any problems, any questions, just email us info at theedgecomtariff.com or check us out online at theedgecomtariff.com. Hope it helps. Thanks very much.